time I ever came in across anything Turkish <laughs> was in 2005 when I, I went to the Royal Academy in London to see the exhibition called, it was called The Turks and it was basically the top Capi Palace um, treasure collection. But within the exhibition there was the manuscripts of from the Sultan's library. Most of them were like religious illuminations, there were lots of the Quran. But then there was this other book, which was Siakalim's book, which well, and that was, it blew me, man, it blew me away. I was like, man, this is amazing, this, this is just, because it was so different and really idiosyncratic, and, and yeah, it's just to 14th century drawing, and, and it just felt really contemporary somehow. Siakalim basically made these amazing drawings of, of characters walking along the, or, or on their horses or whatever, travelling along the Silk Road and he was based in Persia uh, and, he, and somewhere he made this sort of scroll, it was a scroll originally, the scroll was cut up and put in a book. So I got this book and then I photocopied each one, colour photocopied each one and put it on the studio wall and realised that there was this amazing journey going off. identify a little bit with Sakhalin because one of the things that I'd learned along the way about Sakhalin, in a way, you know, he was a, he was a nomad. He was making the the drawings along the wall, along the road, um, and his work became came to Istanbul after after he died um, and became part of the treasure and part of the the palace. Um, then part of the history and then I looked at myself and I thought well actually I'm, I am a nomad I'm, I come here I make my I observe I make my own little drawings <laughs> to understand everything. All you can do is observe, make your own little comment. You know, I'm not here to judge, to, 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 to do that kind of orientalist thing of coming here and saying, you know, oh, it's all mysticism, and oh, this is all terrible, and oh, this is all great. I just wanted to come and look and make something that would lie, that kind of commented on the politics that I saw my friends engaged in and the comment and the things that I saw in the street and just make these little objects and things. Ultimately, the 
exhibition that I see in a year's time, the one in Sheffield, is going to be 37 sculptures.